Hey, what's going on guys? It's Subadizer here with a new episode of Boom Beach from Let's Play series. Okay guys, so as you can see guys, now I have the heavy, well, I was recording a few minutes ago before this, but something happens and I got the heavy, so I had to record it again. Okay, never mind guys, so now I'll do the first trade with you guys from your first time getting the heavy. So, what I like about Heavy is that it really defends the other army, the other troops. Well, however, the attack, it's like, almost like the giant in Clash of Clans. However, the Heavy, uh, like, uh, however, Heavy don't, Heavy don't uh, have a strong damage. Well, they don't, like, as you can see, the hit quarter, it doesn't get uh, a lot of damage because the heavy does the heavy doesn't have a strong damage so that's what I don't like about heavy however it really defend the troops so like you will see now how what do I mean it's like defending the troops when you start like when you have the heavy I really recommend you guys like to first to drop the heavy after drop your other troops because the heavy do uh, if the heavy lead the troops like the defenders will keep attacking the heavy and the heavy has many health so it will not die quickly so first thing is like drop the heavy then start to dropping your other troops as you can see guys in here like first i put the, i throw the artillery in the mortar but i did a mistake in here as you can see guys i dropped the rifleman first and the sniper tower starts to attack the rifleman. However, now when you see the heavy went in the front, the sniper tower starts to hit the heavy because the heavy is leading the attacking area. So it's like he get the damage and it's like the the giants. As I said, it's uh, it's uh, attract the defenders and the defenders keep attacking the giants in Clash of Clans, as you know, guys. However, the archers and barbarians keep attacking without even getting any hit. However, from the mortar, as you know, guys, it just hit all around the area and everybody gets effect. So, you need to destroy the mortar first with the artillery. Then you will not get you then you will not die quickly while while having the machine gun and the sniper tower is still there because. They, they will first attack the heavy and the heavy can die easily so yeah now first I will get I will redo the I'll retrain the troops and I'm thinking to put the mine because like it doesn't take a minute like the walls but they like they are like bombs and something like it's kill the troops while attacking so yeah that's basically is how you use the heavy and now let's and I'm thinking to and I think I want to upgrade the landing no not the landing craft the one that has yeah the the gunboat so I'm thinking so I upgraded it because the artillery it gives you like many point like more points it, I think it's increases to two points like yeah to two points and you will have more chance to use the artillery because as you know guys destroying three destroying a building you get three points i don't know what those points called though like the red one as you can see like the artillery you need to spend three after seven after no three five seven nine it's like an ode but you can't spend one so yeah now see as you can as you noticed guys i dropped the i dropped the heavy first but the, the other machine gun is attacking my troops which are the riflemen well because it's like in the other side and just the heavy is in front and you're on the back so it's easy like to attack them but no need to worry about that guys because the machine gun are not that strong against the riflemen not like the mortar or the sniper tower because the sniper tower what I know is that two hits almost or probably rarely three hits and it killed the rifleman so that's why you need first to drop the heavy okay guys and i wanted to tell you something guys that i'm thinking to do daily videos from now on so i can't promise but i'm thinking so well because like i said doing three uh, three one video per three days or one video a week so 
I won't promise you guys, but I'll try my best to do like every every day different kind of video, like a new episode of different series. So I'll try my best to do this. And if you see this base, guys, I couldn't attack it because it's a real player base and it is level seven and I'm level four, so it will be way strong for me and I can't attack it easily. So yeah. And here again, I dropped my heavy first, then I leave my the rifleman follow the heavy, but as you see the mine just uh, that just bump on the rifleman, but still they didn't die. So yeah, now we need to destroy the mortar as the only defender left. Then we need to destroy the headquarter, but if the headquarter in the front in the front of the base, and there are not like if there are many defenders but in the back and the headquarter in the front you really need to go to the headquarter because the headquarter is uh, when you destroy it the whole base destroyed not not like uh, clash of clans when you destroy the town hall you need you get a star you still count as a victory but you still need to destroy all of the base so in order to get the three stars and to get the resources However, in here, if you just destroy the headquarter, you get the resources, you get the victory, and you get everything from the base because it's like the whole base normally destroyed. So yeah, that's what I really, really like in the, in the Boom Beach. And guys, I'm thinking to create a task force to make a to make a task force. From, like I will create my own task force, but not from this account. I'll create for my original account. So. If I will do one, I will just tell you guys so that if you want to join me, I'll just say the name. And also, I'm thinking to make a, a new clan to create a clan for my Clash of Clans account. And also, I'll tell you guys, and it will be for my real account. Okay, guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you really enjoyed watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.